Pains me to say, he does. Thank you. His day will come. Oh, God. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown tall. <laughs> they buried his arse near ours. And we get nothing but a muddy river! I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify. And turn our blades outward to- And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blotted before the age of ten and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. What they say a what I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble Hjor. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My I'm sad to My King! Gorm Kurtveson. You the Raven Clan Background! You lie! Hold Ava. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm, and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eivor Wolfkist, you are Kurtwey Slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? I would send him to hell as I did his father. Understandable. But a quick death is too good for a Draugr like him. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you Exile. Leave these lands by the next full moon, or I will feed you to the crows myself. King, the floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, Father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me! Not a word! And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right! Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall, you'll drink adult cow! Alone and toothless in a bed of straw! Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, Stebjörn Jarl. And I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear chains, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stebjörn's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not in my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? 
A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. My fate is tied to my brothers. Where Sigurd goes, I follow. I wish I understood you better. For those I do not understand, I do not trust, and I cannot stomach a lack of trust. You have nothing to fear from me, King Harald. My loyalty lies with my brother Sigurd, and I bear you no ill will. Then know that if you stay in Norway, both you and your brother must serve under me. Take tomorrow to think on this. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight, we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. Harold's colors. He is already marking his territory. Marking? Gods, he's spraying like a horny pup. Harold may be young, but he's clever. Do not underestimate him. He came of age very quickly. You there! What are you doing? If you wish to have words, come closer. Are you one of Harald's men? I am. The king wishes to make a survey of the land he now rules. Nothing more. Let me ask, are you one of the conquered? Did Harald take your lands as well? No. My family has lived under his banner since the days of his father, Haftan the Black. Well, welcome to Fornberg, warrior. It's Eivor! Open the door! Come in, but keep your voice down. We will alert Harald's men. Where will we live? The English will fight back! The wars will never end! Or they will push us into the Christian... Two days ago... We rid this land of Kjotve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harald's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. To England. And there make a new home. A kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages. I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home, but the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start a new... You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Kjotve's riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. 
Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. If we go, we will need all the help we can get. I say we take cut the spoils for our own. I abhor such theft. But if this is what it takes to sway you to my cause, I accept. Styrbjörn will prosper by the generosity of his new king. Kjotva's goods belong to us. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? The wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home, there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let us take to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look! Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Sigurd! What is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga. In England. Nonsense! Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon, other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. There's nothing for me here. I must go make my name in the world. And you have plundered Fornberg's resources, I see. You leave nothing behind but your honor. You left me no choice. I entered the Alving a prince. I left the son of a Jarl. There are always choices, Sigurd. I will not stand between you and yours, but I do not accept it. <sighs> Seventeen winters ago, I opened my door to you, Eivor. And now, your only thanks is to rob me? I should have left you to the wolves. Sad old elk. Do not carry his words with you to England. He brought this day upon himself. I know. sacks of wool put some muscle into those pools ration your strength dog we have an ocean to cross all right you lazy back routes sigurd what's our course the sons of ragnar established hey, hey, hey. The near the coast we set sail for them Ragi, sing a song to lift our hood to rouse the gods 
Inspire a mighty fort from Thor to speed us on our way! An ocean lies before us, Eivor, and on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your travels. I spent the season in her kingdom of mercy, a temperate land, lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Ravenclan and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England! Glory and destiny! To England! To England! Or Valhalla! Citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. <sighs> How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? You're a long way from home, Eivor. Hmm. I should do this more often. Relaxing.
some quality stuff here. Did you get my tea? Oof, mint tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty minty water. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How is the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so... Depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. Please enjoy your stay. Remember, all the garbage must be packed out, and please water the plants once a day. Yeah, I won't remember that. You gonna put this in the fridge, Sean? Of course. In half a minute. Remember, tomatoes go on the counter, not the fridge. Sean, don't forget to water the plants while I'm under, okay? I'll add it to the calendar and tattoo it on my leg. Hello, Layla. Sean, what do you make of the grave out there? Well, it overturns a few hundred years of scholarship about the first Europeans to set foot. Apart from that, it's just a bunch of muddy... Can we talk about this thing on my neck for a second? Ah, the mood stabilizer. Yes. It's not harmful, is it? I mean, I feel good, but I want to make sure there's no side effects. There shouldn't be. It's only blocking outside signals. A passive effect. So the staff doesn't, you know, mess with you. Sean, what happened last year, I, I had no control over that. I, I tried to resist. I understand. And your old team? Maybe they don't. But we've seen that sort of thing before. Still, if you want to work with us and get to the bottom of why the world is about to end for the second time in eight years, then you wear that thing until we say otherwise. William's orders. I know. It's not a problem. It's just a few more weeks, yeah? Just until we figure this out. You're right. I know you're right. Sean has been busy. You mind if I put some music on? Go for it. Cool. Let's have a look. Hold on, I'll just set this here. Do you guys record everything we talk about? Not everything. But you've been using the Animus so much, I thought this was a good chance to learn some. I went through hell to bring you here. It had better be worth it.
Feeling okay? Better. But I'm worried that it could happen again. The two data streams. It felt like two minds fighting over one brain. It hurt like a shotgun to the head. Right. There's something about this Viking's DNA sample that feels dense, noisy. Could it be the staff? Interfering somehow? How do you mean? My headaches, my temper. They started the day I got that thing. I hope you're not making excuses for, you know, your friend. Jesus, no. I'm not. Sorry. Just take it easy. And if you feel yourself slipping again, let us know. I'm trying. Be nice to sleep in a real bed when this is over. All right, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. Layla, you okay? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can No, in. I want to hear it. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. I lived. I died. And now I sleep. And in my sleep I dream. And in my dreams I see an end to the doom that will grip the earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all from another death. Unsettling, that is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. This land our own soon enough. I'm glad to see any land at all. And will be happy to have my feet on solid ground again. We must not rush our landing. All you see here is Saxon territory. The Kingdom of Mercia, largely unpacified. There will be eyes watching us from the trees, with bows drawn and traps set. We must be wary. Randy! Dig in your oars! All standing! Have you spotted something? Not yet. Well, let us go ahead to clear the path of any dangers. Then follow our lead when the sun brushes the horizon. Understood. May Thor bless you all on your way. We will see you soon. Say long. Yes. I'm ready for whatever these green-thumbed fairy folk have to throw at us. Sigurd, do the sons of Ragnar know that we're coming? They do not. But they will not scoff at our visit. Of the four kingdoms in England, the sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we mean to join their army? No! No! We will speak with them, get the lay of the land, and carve this country into as many pieces as we see fit. Look ahead there! Is that what passes for a town? Plain brick in a single rune to their timid god? That rune is called a root, Doug. The cross upon which their god was sacrificed. It sits atop a monastery, a place of worship. That cross killed their Christ, and now they display it in worship? Bizarre. 
We carve idols of our gods and make wishes before them, like our sacrifices to Odin, the One-Eyed. But we do not worship the wolf that kills him. That is the difference. Whatever strangeness we see in these Saxons, they must think the same of us. The hammer! Now there is a symbol worthy of a god. A bolt of lightning would take that cross clean off! Ritual drowning. Baptism, Dad. Are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar to me? Not at all. I simply forgot. Someone has to keep the conversation up. It must be priests and worshippers alone in that place. We could storm this port with ease. Sack it without breaking a sweat. Is there much in the way of treasure there? Always! They shape precious metals and cut jewels to their gods. There will be a fortune there. Later, Dag. There will be time enough for raiding once we have settled. Come to stop the boats. They pull up over there. The way forward is blocked by a chain spanning the river. We must remove it before passing on. A chain? Can we cut through it? It's too thick for access. But there must be a way to release it somewhere in that camp. I will go. And I will be right behind you. No, Dad. You stay here. Should trouble come our way, I want you defending the ship. A good idea. Send out the arrow and keep your sharpest axe at hand, huh? Something like that. I should be cautious around here.
this chain is huge and poorly anchored, it appears. I might be able to shoot it. Give those dogs a good knock around and take whatever treasures they have. Easy pickings. Not today, Dad. We press on until we reach our goal. We cannot afford another surprise. Now be on your guard. It should not be far. Gods, I'm ravenous. I hope they have food and the ale on hand when we arrive. You should have sent word ahead of us, Sigurd, to get something on the spit. If Havdan, Uba, and Ivar Ragnarsson are lacking food in England, then all of us will starve. Have no worry. Ah, I can see it now. A suckling pig tender and juicy. And the ale as gold as the treasures that we failed to steal back there. A man of simple pleasures. I can... And he is happier for it. For my part, I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What giants? The great Romans and their empire. Giants of a forgotten age. They held dominion here long ago, and their ruins dot the landscape. Every brick and stone tells a story of conquest and glory, and now they are rubble and ash. Ready to be remade. We will rebuild their empire brick by brick, and ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, dog. The ruins are not a warning. They are a testament. Look there, just ahead, where the sons of Ragnar make their camp. At last, to find our feet on steady ground. Sigurd, hold back. Something isn't right. Good eye. There's too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find. No. Let us get a closer look. Those are not Norsemen. They're too ragged and soiled. We should proceed on foot, else they spot the boats. Dag and I will go together. We all go. If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a young. And if they are foes, then we fight them all together. Who are these men? They speak with twisted accents. English, no doubt. Dark Eivor! On me! of filthy Danes befouling our riverways. You there. Give us your name. I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg. And you are... You'd best move along, pagan. Spare yourselves a slaughter. You threaten Norsemen with a play of swords and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakarout, and draw your weapon. Oh! Let's finish them! Kill these heathen bastards! You have what you wished for, Dad. Oh, the Need your faith. 
I want no more surprises. Right. I'll check the longhouse. Sigurd, Dag, in here. Those men had prisoners.
Eivor, look at this. You there, untie us. Let us walk and we will not hurt you. Quite bold in those bindings. I like your spirit. We are very agreeable people, I promise. You need not kill us. Peace, friend. We have no need or wish to hurt you. What are your names? Yenli. I'm a merchant, not a... Rowan, that's right. I'm a stable hand, that's all. I keep horses and, well, I did, till those brigands sold them off. They meant to sell us next, as slaves to the nearest... And how did you find yourselves here? We came to trade with the sons of Ragnar, at Hastanyal's asking. But they were gone when we arrived. Unbind them. You know the sons of Rak. Aye. Sold many a mare and stallion to the brothers. Good men. Always paid me fair. From the look of this camp, they've been gone for some time. Repeat my stocks. Start anew. I have... Every town and village needs a stable. To keep horses fit and trim. I'll find my... What are you thinking? That we could use their skills as we get settled. Having access to trade and someone to tend our mounts would be a boon. My thoughts as well. And if... Whatever you think is best, Sig... Yanli... Rowan, I am Sigurd Jarl of Thornberg, son of Stirbjörn. This is Eivor and Dag. Both of you are free to go, but more than welcome to stay if you're willing to pull your weight. Then let it be done. From strangers into friends into family. The others have arrived. Come. I have a good feeling about this place. Honored family, friends, welcome to your new home. Fine work. A long house to rival any I've seen. Now come. Ranvi has found something I would like you to see. Eivor, Sigurd, I give you England and its four kingdoms. Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. From the few plans and maps I discovered here, I believe the sons of Ragnar have pushed further into Mercia, here. My scouts will soon tell me if I am correct. And where are we? Here, in this unnamed copse of trees. Unnamed? We cannot let that stand. What will we call this place? I might have an idea. Ravensthorpe, the village of ravens. I like it. The poet in you sings once again. One day this name will be known throughout all of England. A name is only a beginning. If we want renown, we must build. Expand. Agreed. We should begin with a forge. Can you help Gunnar get working again? We'll need cargo, supplies. For that our neighbors will provide, whether they wish to or not. Scarcely arrived and now we must raid. We cannot master this land merely by asking. I'll go and speak with Gunnar now. Good work, my dear. And what else have you found? Short notes, mostly. Scraps of plans, old letters, a few runes to... It took some time to decide... The...
and that's all for today the game's plane being so good up until now the graphics was amazing and the character's arc is building up to a point where it is most interesting so i'll catch you up on the next videos and thank you